Ready? All right. This is Master Gio reporting at Exotic on Saturday with the always awesome and gorgeous Aza Kira. How you doing, Aza? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm so. Um, I know you hosted AV, the AVNs. How was doing that? It was so nerve wracking. Like before I got into porn, the only I mean before before I got into porn, the only thing I knew about the industry was the AVN Awards. So to be able to host it was like such a fucking honor. It sounds so cliche and like. So exactly the generic answer you expect, but it really was just like such an honor. How much preparing did it take to go into doing the uh, award show? Um, well, when they asked me to host, the first thing I did immediately was go dress shopping, obviously. Um, I actually ended up buying a dress in Cannes. <laughs> and then I couldn't wear it because the train was too long and the producers were like worried about me tripping over things backstage. So. To me, like dress shopping, honestly, was the the most preparation-y part. All right, you cleaned house at the last AVNs. How did that feel? Um, it's always amazing. Like it's, I feel really, really lucky. And you know, there's, like, everyone is so deserving. And I know so many performers who like deserve all the awards. So it's just, I feel really lucky. All right. Um, to what do you attribute all your success to? A few things. Uh, number one, being Asian. <laughs> I think if you're Asian and you stick around, you will do well in this business because there's always a shortage of Asian girls, but there's always a demand. So if you can stick it out, then you're kind of guaranteed a certain amount of success. Um, I don't know. Also, I've just been really lucky to meet all the right people. You know, Spiegler, signing with Spiegler really helped me. Signing with Wicked really helped me even more. So I've just... I, I feel like, like I said, just like really lucky. How does it feel now that you're a wicked girl? I love it. I mean, I always wanted to be a wicked girl. And I remember when I first started in the industry, you know, I was in talks with Wicked and Voyeur Media. And ultimately, Wicked didn't take me and it like broke my heart. And so it, it just, it feels great. Like I really, this is what I wanted all along. So what's the latest movie you shot for them? Can I show it? Absolutely. It, it, I'll cover my boobs. All right, me. sounds good. So the newest movie is Hollywood. Um, I play a hooker, a high ed, a high end escort, and um, I Samantha Saint is a cop. I won't give away the twist, um, but I think it's the best movie I've ever made. I think I'm in nine of ten sex scenes in the movie. Oh. Most of them are anal. I did a couple DPs. Um, I fucked some guys I never fucked before. One guy named Rob Piper, who's like amazing. Um, so it was just a really great experience. I've never acted so much in a movie, so that's one thing I'm really not confident in. Like, anal scene, yeah, like, do it. But the acting stuff, learning dialogue for me is um, still so new. But Brad Armstrong, the director, was like so helpful and patient with me, so. Are you going to be, now you were directing, are you going to still be making and directing movies or not? I haven't directed a movie since January. Um, I would love to direct for Wicked and we've talked about it, but I'm really intimidated. Like shooting a Gonzo movie for Elegant Angel and shooting, you know, even an all sex movie for Wicked is totally different. The Wicked has a much bigger crew, a much bigger production. There's so much more to be like responsible for. and. I'm very intimidated, and I want to do it one day, but I'm scared. How was directing the first time for you? Crazy. Um, so my first movie that I ever directed for Elegant Angel was Gang Bang 6 with Alexis Ford. And honestly, if I could do it over, I would never, ever start with a Gang Bang movie. Just to manage all those guys and like, it was just crazy. And when I watch it now, I'm like, oh, it was so bad. But I really do see like every movie that I made got a little bit better, a little bit better. So that's something I'm really proud of. All right, I always am a big fan of your girl girl scenes, which I know I remember at you at AVN were saying like, oh, Aza Loves Girls was nominated. And I agree, I should have been nominated. So what is the key to uh, having a good hot scene with a girl? I think honestly, when it comes to girls, it's really chemistry. And I think with guys, it's definitely chemistry too. But, um, with guys, it's much easier to find something that turns you on and just go with it. Whereas girls, you really need to be in tune. We're so sensitive. So to put two sensitive beings together, 
for us to like really connect is um, a lot of work. So, you know, I, I start from the time I get on set. Like, I'll tell the girl how beautiful she is and how much I want to work with her. And I think that stuff really goes a long way. I just did a scene with Carter Cruz, and it's, like, one of my favorite girl-girl scenes ever now. Like, she's amazing. I just worked with Cleo Valentine. Amazing. And um, Jessica Drake is someone, like, I never expected to connect so much with. And, like, the sexual chemistry between us is, like, crazy uh, I've read your book and I absolutely love it where did the uh, how long was the idea gestating or when did it where did it come from it happened really really fast um, it was in November and a book agent contacted me because he likes my Twitter feed and then that was in the beginning of November and then I wrote an essay that night and sent it to him we had a proposal within like a week and by by Thanksgiving, I had a book deal. So it happened so fast. Yeah, one of the things about, I love about it is having talked to you so many times, it's got your sense of humor in it. And I just, I got a, such a kick out of that. Um, did that come easy to you? Yeah, I, I think it's like, everyone who's read the book has been like, it's totally like you're talking. Yeah, it's exactly. So it's pretty obvious that like I wrote it. And <laughs> um, it's not like a literary masterpiece and it's not supposed to be, you know? Um, it's. It's like a light, fun read, and I don't know, writing it was actually the easiest part. The hard part was like picking the title, picking the cover, marketing it, all this, all the businessy stuff um, was so much harder. All right, what do you have lined up next? So I'm shooting a bunch of movies right now. I'm in the middle of shooting Barbarella for Axel Braun. I'm playing, um, I'm drawing a blank. The Grand Tyrant? I feel like that's wrong. Um, I haven't seen it since I was a child, so... Okay. Yeah, that's the thing, is when Axel contacted me about it, I was like, I saw that movie in high school, and I was really high. Uh, and I don't remember it at all. And it was on Netflix, so I watched it again sober. Okay. Um, and it was even weirder, so... It's, I remember it being a pretty strange little It's movie. pretty weird. So, oh, The Great Tyrant, that's okay, what her name right, is. Right. So that's what I'm playing. Do you know who's playing Barbarella herself? Yes, Riley Steele. Ooh, that should be good, that should be good. Yeah, and I actually have a scene with her coming up, so I'm excited. Like, she's beautiful. Like, she's the kind of girl, like, she's probably one of the most beautiful girls I've ever seen in real life, so I'm excited. She is really awesome, yeah. Yeah. All right, any final words, Aza? Um, just thanks for always watching me. All right, and thank you, Aza, always a pleasure.